In this video, we're going to delve more into the editing features of Weave It Pro for Windows. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my pattern to use eight shafts and eight treadles. And I'm going to set this as a default so that when I create a new pattern, it will use that eight shafts and eight treadles. I can pick Edit in View by picking this icon at the top of the screen, or I can pick it on the menu, Edit Menu, Edit in View. We're first going to talk about the different edit modes. The edit mode is how you mark and select and draw. In the mark mode, I can pick a color and then click on the square to do pick the threading of my draft. The threading is showing here. I can pick a weft color Hello. And I can click on a square in the treadling for the treadle draft. I can click in the tie up. And if I click in the first column, then I go over, it's a tie up. If I go over and I pick extend, then it created a tie-up for me. I can see what this draft will look like if I pick the show one repeat or show many repeats. So we'll go back to continue editing. One of the things you noticed when I picked the tie-up was that when I made my selection in the first column, then I kind of went over to the left and down to the menu. Watch what happens here in the selection if I just go direct. I'm in the tie-up and I go directly across here and now I'm working on the treadling and I don't have any actions. So that's something to be aware of. You go across and down to edit the tie-up and you can do all of these commands. If there's no selection made, it works on the entire tie-up. So if I do an invert, it inverted the entire thing. If I flip it, it flips the entire tie-up. If you want to do some of the actions on just a certain section, like we go over to selection, put the mouse down and drag, you can go over and you can clear that section only. If you get out of the selection, or you select the entire thing, move over this way so this remains to tie up and pick extend, then you got that first row extended again and you have your tie up. You can also use the edit command, treadle is drawn in. In that case, we can do it and don't change the colors and you see your treadling. If I click now on one repeat, you can see that it's all red. If I click off the interlacement view, you can't see the structure at all. So a lot of times if you're working in a solid color fabric, but you might want to see the structure, then you can turn this on and you can kind of see this, or you can also select all and then just change it to another color. You change it by selecting that color in the weft dialog. So now we've changed the entire weft to green. You can still weave it in the solid color, but it's easier to design and draft if you're using two different colors. So we'll go back to the edit, just one repeat of it, and look at some other things that you can do with the treadling or the threading and the tie-up. Let's look at the tie-up. We're in select mode. We select, we draw down. We can 
select all and we can copy it, paste, flip it horizontal. We have a kind of an extra thread right there that we don't want, so we'll cut that. And if you did this repeat again, you see that there's an extra thread at the end and at the beginning. So we need to get rid of that one also. So we'll cut it. On the treadling, I'm going to select these three, cut them. Then I'm going to select the first five picks here, and I'm going to pick advance. What that does is it advances the pick or the treadle sequence that you selected for a full repeat. So it keeps the first one is one to five, the second one is two to six, three to seven, four to eight, and on around. And it creates that. We look here again and we can see we get, and we can look at the fabric view and we can zoom out, see what we get for that. On the design menu, you will see advanced twill options at the bottom. This is the number of steps to advance. Usually you want to advance so that you get an odd even sequence. If you have five warps or wefts in your selected sequence, then you would want to advance by an odd number to. This tells you to do a full advance or to just do it once. Usually you do it full, and those options I don't change too much. We can do it again over on the warp side. I go to mark mode. Let's one, two, three, four, five, select, and advance. And you get your draft. Repeat it all out, see it. And it's beginning to look kind of more interesting. In fact, let's try and see what happens if we do a treadle as drawn in, change the colors. And now you have a more interesting design. Back to one repeat. We've covered almost all of these, although there's a network. If I do a selection here, I can see that there's a few more things that I can do that are not enabled. Um, we won't do those, they'll do those in another video. If we pick in the tie-up, and I need to zoom out a little so you can see it better. If we do a selection in the tie-up, we've looked at extend, invert, clear, fill, that fills all the squares, flip, wrap, wrap vertical. So those are all the different things that you can do when you're editing in the main view. Now let's move to looking at editing in the dialogues. First we'll look at editing the threading. We looked at this before. It works pretty much the same way as editing. The mark mode is almost the same, except you have a left and a right mouse button so that you can use your fingers to flip between them. And you can select, line, and draw. You can select all. Ignore color is in both the main view and the dialogues. And what it does is it allows you to change the positions and change the structure without changing the color. So I start at the beginning and select just the diamond part of the threading, and I'm picking repeat. This tells you that you can repeat that area uh, several times. So I entered the number of times I want to repeat it. Let's repeat it three times. 
and pick OK. The, the, let's, see, let's put it down here. The edit dialog just shows you that it's going to repeat three times, but it doesn't actually draw it out. If we pick apply, then you can see it happen. Now you can see the three repeats. If I pick a different color, let's pick yellow, and I change, go into mark mode so I can just click on the square and change the color without changing the diagram. Now, um, the right one. Okay, so now I have oh, undo. Didn't want to do that one. I wanted the just the color. So now if I pick apply, you can see that in the main view, you see three instances of that yellow yarn. So in the main view, the threading is stretched out and the treadling works the same way. If you pick you want to get rid of your repeat. Let's select it again. Oops, we're in the wrong mode. Undo again. Undo. Go into select. Select the whole full repeat. Pick repeat. Now you see a little checkbox that says remove that repeat. So we can uncheck it. We can Pick it again and just say, this time I only want to repeat it two times. I can apply that and you can see now it's only two times. If you cancel at this point, then it just throws away all the changes you made in that threading dialog. So if I pick cancel, I'm now back to where I started. So it's a good way to try out different things. So we can select again. This is the repeat. Repeat it. I want to repeat it two times. And I want to go in mark mode and we're going to pick that yellow again and I'm going to change mark, change it back to yellow. And this time I'm going to pick OK and you'll see those two instances. Now, if I'm in this view and I want to edit, let's say I want to change the yellow little sequence in there and I pick blue as my color and I pick mark and I go up here to change the color. Notice that not only did it change it in that location, it changed it in this location because this is a repeat that's in the treadling. And sometimes that can confuse you if you start switching modes and you work in the dialogue and you work in the main treadling. Be aware of that. It doesn't matter which, let's try this one. I'm gonna pick it and I'm gonna pick yellow here. It doesn't matter which group you pick it in or which sequence you pick it in. It will change in both sequences. Annotations are a way to mark your draft for notes and special features such as the start and end border. To do that, we edit the threading. I'm going to add a few threads at the beginning. So I pick the first thread and I pick insert. Do you want to insert before the repeat? Yes, I want it to be before, not do inside the repeat. So now I did that, and I'm going to add a few more. Then I'm going to pick mark, and I want to do them in a dark color so that you can see them. Back to select. I select those first four threads and pick annotate. In the annotate dialog, you have a choice of annotation types. The choices are here, custom, a start border, and end border. In this case, I want to do a start border. 
and I can put in a mark, which is just a little label that'll show on the draft, and we'll call that border. And I want to add a dotted line after that pick for the border. A comment can be added that will display when you print it, but not in the drawdown. So we're not going to add that in right now. I pick OK. Now I can see the border, and if I move the select, you can see the uh, dotted line after it, and that shows the border. I pick apply and you can see that border in the draft. If we go over to the end and I pick mark and I add in that black color some more and then select those. Now I can go over to annotate. A custom annotation is just something that you note yourself. The computer program doesn't do anything with a custom. But the other choice I have here is an ending border, and I'm going to put that as my end. Mark it. I don't want to put a comment, but this time I want the dotted line to be before the pick, at the beginning of it. So now you see that it's saying it's these four are the beginning, and these, you know, yeah, are the end pick, and these four are the beginning pick. We'll pick OK, and I'll zoom back out a little bit so you can see both borders on that display. Notice that the one repeat icon is now disabled. You cannot display it in multiple repeats. It also is disabled when you look at the View menu. That is because you got the borders on and so you need you're just saying I just want one. You'll also notice that in project setup there is a checkbox that says always show one repeat of the draft. That is now checked. So that is part of the reason you can't do a repeat. As long as there is borders, you can only show one repeat of the draft. If I go into the edit mode, we can see some of the things that you can do when you make a selection when you have a border. You will notice that there are not as many things enabled that you can do. It's very limited so that it doesn't mess up the pattern because of those borders and whether they're displayed or not displayed. So the tip is, if you are using borders and annotations or repeats, it's really best to do your editing in the dialogues. Because you have more things available, you'll notice that there are a lot more options here that are available for that select than there were when we selected it on the main screen. So if you're just going to edit in the treadling, say here, we don't have any repeats and we don't have any annotations, so we have a lot more choices of things that we can do. There are many more editing features that we will cover in future videos, but this is time to stop and end this video. See you soon.